I'm Dr. Rabarber, a maternal fetal medicine specialist at Carnegie Imaging for Women and Maternal Fetal Medicine Associates. Amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling, CVS, are two tests that are available um, that are invasive testing to determine um, genetics in the fetus. Now, traditionally these tests were done uh, to determine chromosomes, however, there's many more genetic tests that are available in this day and age, and depending on uh, the conditions that exist that predate the pregnancy, so if parents are recessive carriers or for conditions, or spontaneous mutations and parents want to detect any kind of errors unique to the pregnancy, they would offer these types of tests. So let's take each one at a time. A chorionic villus sample or CVS is generally done between 10 to 12 weeks gestation. Um, the advantage of this test is it's done earlier and results often come back quicker. Um, it's a needle that's inserted either uh, abdominally or a catheter or tube that is inserted vaginally into the placenta to obtain a sample of the placenta um, and send it to the lab. Results for final results usually come back within seven to ten days uh, for karyotype or chromosome analysis um, and so the results are quite rapid. There's about a one percent chance of um, the fact that somebody who does a CVS might still need to do an amniocentesis because results are confusing and complication rates or miscarriage rates are extremely low, under 1%. 1 in 4, 500 is what the current estimates are from the procedure itself. An amniocentesis is done around 16 to 18 weeks. It's a needle into the, amni into the amniotic fluid. Both of these procedures are done under direct ultrasound guidance in this day and age. Um, and drawing the fluid out and sending it to the lab, the lab actually takes out cells from the fluid and analyzes it, grows it in culture, and about two weeks later you get the results of a karyotype or a chromosome analysis. For both tests, something called FISH analysis, fluorescent in situ hybridization, can check for the five most common chromosomal problems, number 21, 18, 13 chromosome, and the X and Y chromosomes. If there are extra ones or one is missing, it can be evaluated. Um, and that turnaround time for this type of test is only 24 hours in most uh, up-to-date genetics labs. So depending on what you suspect, you could do the rapid analysis, but you always will do the final chromosome analysis, which depending on the test, it may take as much as seven to 10 days to two weeks to come back. There is newer genetic testing that's available, something called a chromosomal microarray analysis that looks for uh, defects in the chromosome, uh, whether there's deletions in the chromosome or sometimes duplications in the chromosome. So you're looking for some extra material or missing material in the chromosome itself. Um, and that is currently optionally available and generally relegated to conditions that where we see something on ultrasound that's concerning as far as a fetal structural problem and we will offer the, mic offer the microarray because it can yield uh, various rare genetic syndrome diagnoses.